Hey guys, I'm going to be going back to Aldaba, and I'm going to be showing you how to do a perfect score with every modifier except the attack and magic one using, um, well not using Esther, Chow, or Sky. Um, we're going to be using some older units, but we are using uh, Roberta as well for this clear. Um, if you don't have Roberta, you could probably just turn off one of the defense mods and still perfect score. Um, you know, it'd be less of a modifier. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you the clear where we use Runda, Kresnik, Roberta, Louise, Laura, and Carton. Now, Carton's a little bit tricky to use here because he loves to kill himself on the thresholds, but that's okay. We've got a plan to deal with it. So, this is overall pretty safe if you can make it past the first two turns. They're definitely the most dangerous. So, the way we're going to do this, we're going to start with Runda and make sure Runda is higher in the party than Carton. So, Runda is going to cover, we're going to Shelga plus 2, and we're going to use his Provoke 2 ability, that's his um, TMR. Uh, let's see, Roberta is going to Rousing, Aquatic, and Dragon in the Shift form, which is geared for High Spirit. Uh, Laura Croft is going to um, Jade Pendant for Stone Immunity for next turn. Uh, Louise is going to Quad Cast Ionic Fire Blaster, and with the gear we've given Kresnik, that should fill his LB to the max and the shift form, pretty much guaranteed. So there we go. If it wasn't filled, you could use Carton to Rally and Cry as well, but we don't really need to. So Kresnik is going to use, in the shift form, his LB. That's going to turn on Auto Morale per turn, it's going to give us a barrier, it's going to heal us up. Uh, now Carton can literally just do whatever. We'll just go ahead and Rally and Cry, like I said, anyway. Now, it is possible to still die on turn one. We don't have the good run to mitigation yet. So if the boss goes completely bonkers on chromatics on turn one, we're going to die. But he can do like three or four and we'll be okay. Or four even should be fine. But it is definitely a risk. So there it is. So as long as you survive turn one, you should mostly survive the entire fight. Of course, it is still RNG. But you should survive the whole fight at this point. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, this is very critical on turn two. So turn two is a, a little bit strange, because Kresnik is busy for morale. So we're going to Arcane Stimulant with Kresnik. You'll notice the party is pretty severely hurt, and we're going to need some healing. So we're going to, like, tricky heal this. Watch this. We're going to use Louise to Quadcast. We're going to do Fire Foam, which gives the party one turn of fire absorption. We're going to Power Boost for the Break Immunity. We're going to Diverse for Human Killer, and we're going to Ionic because we've got to deal fire damage to the boss. Next, we're going to use Roberta to Morale. We're going to Infernal Breath for the Fire Imbue, and then Emissary of Demise for the Modifier Boost. Wait for all this to finish. Now, we've got Yeti Synergy on Laura Croft, and she's double-handing with Accuracy. She's imbued with fire. We're absorbing fire. We're going to target our own party and normal attack with Laura, which is an AoE normal attack. And it's going to heal the party. We're going to absorb all that fire damage. Full health from that. So we like cheater healed that turn. Runda is going to use his LB for 80% general mitigation and 80% physical mit for himself. Now he is covering all the physical. Uh, Carton, nothing really special to do here. We'll just Voracious Appetite three times just to hit the boss, you know, whatever. Okay, so now we have 80% general mitt and 50% magic mitt, and we don't have the attack and magic modifier turned on, so we're only taking 1,000 damage per chromatic wave. On the other hand, Runda is getting hit decently hard because he is um, not really a magic tank, and he's provoking all our magic attacks, but that's okay. Maybe I should have made Kresnik the passive provoker. I didn't think of that. That could have been an option. But anyway, this is the way we're doing it. Okay, so on turn three, you know, turn three, if you're not using a magical cover tank, is a little dangerous. For one thing, we got huge ice in peril, and the boss is going to do a big ice nuke this turn. A bunch of them, in fact. So we're going to use Kresnik to Arcane Antioxidant, which is going to um, give the party... It's going to cure our imperils and give us an 80% ice resist buff. Uh, Roberta, in this form, is going to stay in the shift form. We're going to rouse him. We're going to Dragon Aim for the um, Spear in Peril, and we're going to Support from the Skies to give us a big stat buff for the party and give Mirage for Runda, because this turn's actually going to be a little painful on Runda. Um, so what we're going to do on Runda is... Uh, hold on, before we do that, 
We're gonna guard Laura and Cart because this is gonna be the most painful turn of the entire fight. Is turn three. Uh, we're gonna use Louise. We're gonna field this turn and triple Ionic. Okay, and Runda. Um, there's two options here. You can either guard Runda, which guarantees he survives. Um, pretty much guarantees. Or you can make the party bulkier. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume my Runda tanks just like a boss, and we're gonna make the party bulkier. So to do that. We're going to protect, because that's not really important, but we're going to do it. We're going to run to laser just to refresh breaks, but more importantly, we're going to run to barrier. This is a 100% ice resist buff, which is stronger than Crestnix. So it's 20% stronger, so the party takes a little bit less ice damage. And the big squishies like like Laura and Carton are guarding. So this turn, you should survive it for the most part. It's not super terrible, but if the boss goes completely insane on waves, it could be a problem. But overall, it should be fine. Especially with Guardian, Laura, and Cardin. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's RNG, but m almost always you'll survive this turn. And now for the rest of the fight, we're pretty much in the clear. We shouldn't have any other dangerous turns the rest of the fight. Okay, so this turn is a little spe special. Because we're not using, like, the strongest DPS in the universe, um, we're going to be multi-pushing this threshold, which means we're going to burst on turn four. It is not going to push the threshold, and we're going to burst again on turn five. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to shift Louise. We're going to gun in peril, neutralizing for the 80 break, shielding, and repairing. That's just going to, um, that's going to gun in peril for Laura. All right, um, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use Kresnik to potion antioxidant and remedy actually we don't need antioxidant so we're going to potion remedy and supplement i should update that on my chart let me update this on my chart real quick so you guys can yeah we didn't need antioxidant that turn okay ronda on this turn is going to cover we're going to refresh shelga and we're going to laser okay notice i did not use roberta yet that is important so we're going to shift a cart in here, and we're going to use a Frenzy. We're going to shift Laura here, and we're going to use a Volatile. And we're going to chain these two together. When you chain these two, make sure you click Laura first to get that big break before Carton. So just chain these. Don't use Roberta yet. Roberta's going to come after these two. This is going to do like 25-ish percent or something, or a lot less. That's okay. We just needed a little bit of help to push that first threshold. Now Roberta's going to go to the base form. We're going to do Rousing Roar for Morale. We're going to, you might notice like the morale gauge is not full, which is why the damage was so low. We're going to Mega Breath to unlock triple, and we're going to Draconic Triune, which is going to refill Laura's LB so we can burst directly again next turn. It's very important that we did Roberta afterwards. Now, we are in the shift form of Carton and Laura, so they're a lot less um, spirit here. They're taking 2,000 a hit from wave. As long as we don't get six waves, we're okay. Um, it can happen. If it does happen, you know, the boss loves his chromatic waves. But, like, five of them should be fine. Um, yeah, so five waves. And, of course, if you're dying, you can, like, you know, door pot your units. You can bulk them up more, etc. Anyway, so now we're going to be pushing the first threshold. And you might notice, um, you know, our morale is still not there. This party is not super high on morale. If you have Chow, he is good for morale. But he doesn't have an 80% mitt like Runda does. Um, let's go ahead and do the attack and magic buff. Uh, now this turn, we're going to have Roberta triple. We're going to Mystic Breath four times. Laura is going to, make sure you use Laura, Queen of the Jungle or Shots in the Air, doesn't matter which one. Don't use Volatile again. We need that for the final burst. So just Queen in the Jungle. Cardin can Frenzy again. He has three charges. Louise, though, is not going to help on this burst. She's going to go to the base form where we're going to use her Incapacitate target, which is a 90% Spirit Break, to help out um, uh, Roberta. And it's going to still be there on the kill turn on turn 8. Um, okay, so what else are we doing this turn? I remember, oh yeah, we're just going to Ionic three times. That's going to refill Laura's LB the rest of the way if it wasn't filled yet. Um, Kresnik on this turn is going to do Medicinal Mastery for AoE Reraise, Medicinal Potion for Healing, and Medicinal Remedy. It's very important you AoE re-raise because Carton is 1,000% going to die after this threshold because he's going to kill himself like a derp, but he's going to. Okay, so, and then Runda, to just jump in here, don't use the SLB. 
we're going to just triple run to laser and chain that with our bolting strike guys. So we're going to go ahead and send Roberta and Ignis first to build that chain nicely. Wait for it. And then send the rest, the real damage dealers. And that's going to push this first threshold because we did that partial burst earlier in the fight. Now, yeah, we, we, we did 1.5, which um, was not enough. That's why we did it across two different bursts. Now here comes Carton killing himself. What a dummy, but he re-raises. That's okay, that's fine. So Carton can't act this turn, but it doesn't matter. He did lose all his buffs. That's why we held Runda's SLB till this turn. Now Runda's gonna SLB for 85% general mitigation. Now we're like super, super safe. Okay, Louise is going to, um, on this turn, we're going to Ionic, we're going to Tactical Armor, we're going to Power Boost, and we're going to reapply the field. Roberta is gonna shift this turn. We're going to triple. We're going to Rousing Roar, Dragon, and Aquatic in the shift form. Okay, Laura on this turn. Um, doesn't need to do anything. She can just Lion Emblem if her LB wasn't ready. Her LB is ready, so we can just literally guard. Uh, Kresnik on this turn is going to heal the party. So we're going to double potion, and we're going to do Medicinal Remedy to make sure that our, um, our Carton is immune to statuses and all that again. Okay, so 85% mitigation. Now, we don't have Shell plus two on Carton this turn, but he's in the base form, which is high spirit. He's going to be completely fine, I'm, I'm, I'm certain. Okay, here's a chromatic way. He's taking 1,900 damage. He's got 32,000 HP. Carton is fine. Okay, so turn seven, we're going to get ready for the big burst in a moment. Wait for all the auto-casting. It's always the most fun part of this fight is the auto-casting. Okay, Runda on this turn is going to cover. We're going to laser to break the boss. And for those that don't know, laser's an 80% attack and magic break. He's our primary breaker. And we're going to Shelga again for Carton. Now we're going to shift Carton this turn. And we're going to do his shifted LB, which is going to give him a modifier boost. Laura is going to just normal attack, which gives her a modifier boost. Roberta, back to the base form where we're going to morale, we're going to imbue the party, and we're going to mega breath to unlock her triple cast. Louise is going to go to the shift form, where we're going to gun and peril the boss again. So we're going to gun and peril, break the boss, shielding and repairing. And Kresnik is going to fill morale, so we're going to medicinal, remedy, and supplement. Wait for this to finish. All right, just for the 1,000% safety, we're also going to do the defense and spirit buff this turn. And for more morale gain, we'll resounding will. And we will... No, we don't need to do any of that. Okay. So again, we've got Runda's SLB at this point. 85% mitt. We've now got Shell plus 2 on Carton. We're fine. Like, this boss is going to do, yeah, 1,400 on Carton, who's, like, basically wearing no defense gear whatsoever in the shift form. It is important that Runda is higher in the party order, though, or, run, or um, oh my god. How many waves was that? That was a, I'm going to have to watch, that was a bunch of waves. Thankfully, we had the SLB. My god, we almost lost Laura there. Now, that was... Big ouch. Oh, and there's Carton. <laughs> of course, Carton wants to kill himself like a derp. Um, I, hate, I hate that about Carton. Anyway, it is time to finish the boss. Now, morale is a little bit dicey on this clear. So before we do anything, we're going to use Kresnik to potion, remedy, and... Not that. We're going to potion, remedy, and supplement just to fill morale gauge. We're going to use... All these morale skills, except Remedial Will. Do not use Remedial Will, or you will regret it, because it will end your run. It dispels your party. And the attack and magic. And okay, it's time to finish it off. So Carton is going to Feral Frenzy. Laura is going to Volatile. This time, Louise is going to triple. We're going to do Bolting Strike. Don't use Chaos Wave Awakened. It'll break. So Bolting Strike three times, and then Nano Machine. Roberta is going to Mystic. And Runda will just jump in here with his Runda laser for an extra 0.001% damage. Okay, so that's it. So we're going to send Roberta first, then send the rest. Make sure Lore is clicked before Carton when you're, when you're doing your chaining. So here we go. And this should be 2.5. It is, of course, up to variance, up to your gear, etc. But, you know, should be. Let's find out. 
2.54. I mean, that was that was that was borderline, but we got there. 2.5, yeah. So you know, it's this is not the biggest grand slam clear or anything, but if you have powerful units, powerful gear, um, well, power, the units I'm using plus powerful gear, um, this gets you a perfect score on 270%. Um, as you saw, we came really really close to death a few times, so using Runda, um, not to mention Runda is only EX1 for everybody, it's impossible to be EX2 at this point. So, um, yeah, so Runda, unless, you're, unless your whole party is EX3, you couldn't even do a full mod clear with this specific party. So here's the breakdown. Um, Laura Croft, um, with a gun in peril, obviously, you know, Grand Slam here. Uh, Carton's still pretty good these days, and Roberta is pretty good. Roberta was really heavily helped out by having a 90% spirit break on the party. You know, my previous clear is we only used a 75 break from an Esper. That's like, ugh, thumbs down on that one. But, um, oh, honestly, to be fair though, Laura and Carton did burst um, three times as opposed, to, well, not really three times because this first burst was like a, a janky burst and not fully modified, fully buffed, and morale wasn't there. But they did have technically three burst turns. Anyway, let me show you the gear. So here's just an example that you can use to, um, oh, hey. Swap the, actually, you know what? Three stars might even be better these days because they seem more rare than four stars. Anyways, that's beside the point. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you the gear. So, you know, this was the modifier clear. Um, I don't think this clear, even if you did have the EX levels, I don't think this clear could do the attack and magic mod. Um, unless you want to just like roll pure and utter RNG, like I did in my my rank one video. I mean, you could, and with the attack and as long as the boss like doesn't use like more than three waves ever, which takes a thousand runs, um, you could risk it. But for your own sanity, at the very least, do it without the attack and magic mod first. So here's the clear. Here's the units we used. So here's the party. So Runda was our our provoke tank and our physical cover tank. So he he cut physical covered everything. We never imbued the boss with light with Kresnik. So he actually I geared him more towards spirit over defense if possible because he takes a lot of single target magic and that's what you're actually killing him for the most part because he has 80% physical mit and only 50% magic mit from shell plus 2. So kind of lean him higher towards spirit if you can. Make sure this dude is door potted. Um, also full evasion. Um, technically it's not required. You don't have to have evasion, but it definitely lowers the damage you take by a large amount. Um, that way he'll only take physical damage on turn two and three. He'll never take physical damage on turns one, four, six, or seven. But it's up to you. Just gear him so he survives. Um, provoke, provoke plus two is kind of important for turn one. Not required. You could skip this and just RNG turn one, but I I did I tried it without this a few times, and Runda's turn one mitigation is a little bit low, and he would die a few times. This gives him 75% mit until turn two when his LB is online, and at that point he has 80% mit and he's fine. He does need passive provoke, by the way. So 100% evasion as well. Uh, you can ignore resistances, honestly. It doesn't matter. We're, we're, we're not imbuing the boss with light, and we're not we're not covering the magic damage. So the whole party is taking ice and lightning damage. It's not focused on one magic tank. So you can ignore resistances on him. Just give him just pure bulk. Uh, Kresnik, um, base form is just you know spirit whatever. Um, give him some light resist because he does hurt himself with his auto casting with light damage. Shift form, this is a little bit important. As you saw the way we did this, turn one we did his LB, and the reason I wanted to do his LB on turn one in the shift form is because not only does it heal the party and barrier the party, it also turns this auto cast on, which fills morale by 200 every single turn for the rest of the fight. It's small, 200 is only 2% morale per turn, but it's something. If you can't fill his LB on turn one like I did, um, I mean, you should be able to, unless you miss these limited limited time gears. If you can't, you can just have him cast Curaja on turn one, and it's fine. That'll, that'll top your party off, no uh, no, 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 big deal. Um, anyway, so Paws of Prosperity gives him 5 LB on turn one. Dragon's Brush gives him 7 LB on turn one. And Call of the Wild gives him 8 LB on turn one. All that combined is 20 LB on turn one, guaranteed. He's got a 50 gauge, so we're short by 30. We quad cast Ionic with Louise, which fills a guaranteed 20 to 40. 
um, randomly. So RNG can potentially not fill Kresnik. If you don't fill him, we've got Lion Emblem on Carton as well for another five. So that means 25 guaranteed out of 30. So you'd have to roll like the worst RNG in, in, in the history of the planet to not fill Kresnik on turn one, but it technically could happen. Anyway, yeah, I talked a lot about Kresnik. He does morale stuff and healing. Roberta and Ignis in the base form um, are just geared for damage. Pure damage. Um, she has empty empty slots, so I just stuck some bulk in there just to be safe. So there we go. Um, you know, she's maxed on everything. 300, 300, double spear. Uh, shift form, just bulk. Just pure bulk. That's all that matters. Just bulk, bulk, bulk. Um, and shift form is very bulky. Uh, Louise in the base form is just bulk. Um, I gave her Obsidian Bracer in the base form. We do start in the base form. Other than that, you know, whatever. Just bulk. There it is, bulk. Um, if you're having problems on turn three, you can, in the unit's off form, gear for more ice resist. The boss does AoE ice magic on turn three. And if you're having problems on turn three, more ice resist will help. I, I didn't really have a problem with turn three, so I didn't bother with ice resist, but yeah. So there we go. Shift form, pure damage. Um, with a little bit of bulk, so I gave her some spirit. Probably not important, but... Um, actually, it is a little bit important, because she does shift. Mm, not really that important, honestly. I don't know. I gave her guts and all. I don't know. Just just in case, I was planning to say... I mean, she's maxed on everything anyway, so it's like, whatever. Uh, maxed Aqua, maxed Dragon. So it's, it's, it's not, not like I was making trade-offs. I mean, I just gave her a bulk in the spare slots. But there it is. And the card. Um, Laura Croft in the base form. This is, this is a little bit important, because as you saw, we used fire absorb healing to heal the party some of the party is using evasion so double hand with accuracy up so we gave her guardian of light riku truth savior these are all give accuracy and a double hand gun with 70 percent accuracy make sure she's 100 accuracy now we gave her the jade moon pendant this might be a little bit controversial if you don't have the jade moon pendant no one in the party was using a stone resist buff on turn two. So if you don't have the Jade Moon Pendant, Kresnik is busy and no one else can naturally cast status immunity in this party, you would have to stick Carton or Laura on Lakshmi for a stone resist buff. Lakshmi can buff stone resist, or you could give Carton, I just thought of this, you, I, I, I should, damn, I should have done this. I should have done this. This is a permanent item. Where is that stupid hammer? Where's that hammer at? It's a permanent item that Carton can equip. I, I'm not sure what it's called. It's it's Lids STMR. There it is. That's not it. That's not it. That's, that's the wrong hammer. Damn it! Where is the stupid hammer? Oh, you kill you killing me here, game. You are killing me here. What is it called? Healing Avatar's hammer. You can equip this on Carton's base form, and he could do stone resist on turn one. Um. Oh my God! No, it, no, it's not. It's the other Lakshmi skill. I I wasted two minutes. Why did I say? Yeah. Anyway. If you don't have the Jade Moon pin, then someone's got to do Stone Resist, so do it from Lakshmi. I'm sorry for distracting you guys with that. I thought it did. Stone Resist, too. It does not. Um, shift Form, Laura is damage. Pure, complete, total damage. No bulk needed. Um, she has Guts. She should be totally fine. If she dies, not my fault. <laughs> um, she's got 250 Aqua and 225 Dragons. Her killers are pretty freaking terrible, if we're beyond being honest here. Um, terrible killers, and she still carried the fight. Like, she is crazy. Imagine if your killer, her killers was maxed. I don't know how to max them, though. Like, like this is, like, as much killers as I could realistically fit. And she she's even using her own STMR, so she's not... I don't know. She's hard to freaking gear for killers. For wrong killers, I should say. Anyway, Carton, base form, bulk, Lion Emblem, in case we didn't fill the, the, the LB gauge on Kresnik. Shift form, double hand spear build. Um, the spear in peril is bigger than his fist in peril. Uh, Kane's Lance has a lot more attack power than Igon's Fist. Um, yep, yeah, so I suggest a Spear build because we're doing big Spear in Peril with Roberta. And he can naturally equip Spears, so it's totally fine. Here's the build we did. Um, again, pure DPS. He kind of requires this card to make this build work. Hopefully you hopefully you picked it up. Um, Max Dragon and only 50, 50 Aqua. So these two guys, I mean, we got it done with all bulk mods enabled. But um, they are hard to gear for killers. That's why Esther and Sky are a little bit easier for this fight. But I wanted to do a clear without Esther and Sky that damage capped. We damage capped every single bulk mod, every single mod, except for um, attack and magic. Hope it helps. See you next time.